A top story this hour. A South African girl has become only the third child to beat the AIDS virus into long-term remission after receiving a drug cocktail in her infancy. She's now almost nine years old. The child was given a 10-month course of anti-AIDS medicine until she was one. She was then taken off the drugs as part of a medical trial. The International AIDS Society Conference on HIV Science heard in Paris today that the virus is still dormant. Recent cases of remission have given hope to 37 million people worldwide infected with the HIV virus. The HIV AIDS pandemic was killed, has killed rather, around 35 million people worldwide since it began in the 80s. Now, to tell us a little bit more about uh, this uh, breakthrough, we speak now to Dr. Glenda Gray, the Executive Director of the Pediatric HIV Research Unit based at Chris Heine Baragwanath Hospital here in Soweto. Dr. Gray is uh, speaking to us from Paris, France, where she's attending the International AIDS Society Conference on oh. HIV Science. Uh, Dr. Gray, thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you on our program. Uh, usually because it, there's good news to tell, and this certainly is a, a good news story to share with the rest of the world. Yes, good evening. This is a good news story, and this comes straight from Barragon Hospital, and the child was, was born at Barra and uh, grew up in Soweto. And so um, it's uh, yet another signal that a lot of information around HIV AIDS and how to manage it and possibly how to get it into remission comes from South Africa. So yes, it's very exciting. All right, so take us through the steps. Um, that early intervention, I guess, is the key to all of this. Was there anything else given on top of that, or was there something special about uh, this child uh, that's made this breakthrough possible? Yes, we do think there's something special about this child. So this child received antiretrovirals from two months of age, and at one year, um, uh, transitioned off it. Um, the, the study was to look at structured treatment interruption and to see whether we could give children drug holidays. And this baby and this child then uh, went off her, her, her treatment and, and um, there was no viral rebound that we normally see. Sometimes when you take off the drug pressure, then the virus jumps up and starts replicating again. And so what we've seen in this, 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 this child is that um, the, the, although the, 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 the baby's immune system is controlling viral replication, and that the child is not replicating virus um, as, as is normally seen. So this child is, is, a, is, is, a, is a rare child, and um, the, the scientists in South Africa are looking at, at the immune system to try and understand the, the interaction between the immune system and controlling the, the virus. The, the, um, the, the, the genome of this child also needs to be sequenced so we can try and identify any, any um, areas that will give us an indication of, of why this, this child's immune system appears to control HIV um, so, so, so well. Is this in the same sort of realm as uh, uh, there were reports a few years ago about um, sex workers in Kenya that for some reason weren't getting the virus? Also something peculiar to them? Well, I think the, the, the immune system in certain people um, you know, can control HIV can control replication and can also make you uh, immune to getting HIV. Now, we have a, there was a baby called the Mississippi baby um, who was also one of these children who got early treatment and then it came off, but um, the child was off treatment and then eventually relapsed and, um, and started to replicate virus. And so although this child only has been off treatment for eight years, we are worried that, that the child may relapse and start to... Um, uh, spinning, uh, spinning out virus and, and, and getting viral replication. But if this child doesn't do this, and uh, we, will, we are then, we are at the moment investigating what is special about this child's immune system, because whatever is special about this child's immune system, we can then replicate it and, and try and look at gene, gene therapy for others or look at, um, at, at different uh, drug targets or to try and understand the immune system better as to why this child is managing to... to to control HIV so well. So, and we have to be careful with our terminology because uh, we're saying she's dormant or in remission, which means that the virus still exists but uh, is not active. Is that, is that what we're saying? Yes, yeah, so the virus is not replicating. So, although we, can, we, can, we know that the baby is HIV infected by looking at, at special blood tests, 
Um, what we find is that the virus isn't replicating in this child, but it's dormant, so it's resting. It's in what we would call latent or resting phase. And so it looks like this child's immune system is keeping HIV at bay and that um, it's stopping the virus replicating um, in the body. So it's, it's, it's managing to, to, to handle the virus. And, and, and the immune system, usually the, the virus replicates in the immune system is always three steps behind the immune system and it makes antibodies, but by the time it makes antibodies, the virus has changed. So in this case, um, the virus is not replicating and the immune system is, 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 is potent enough to stop replication and prevent um, rebound, viral rebound or, or viral replication like we would normally see if, if people went off treatment. What's been the reaction to people attending uh, this uh, conference in Paris, uh, hearing this, these stories? I believe that there's a, a French teen who was born with HIV and is, is now 20, has also had infection under control despite no HIV medicine since uh, he was six, I'm told. Okay, so these children are rare, and, um, but they're also incredibly important because the, the, these rare events help us try and understand the interaction of the immune system with mm. HIV. And so um, the more we can understand about these children, the better, because this will help us in terms of, of, of getting people into remission. And so one of the strategies to try and control HIV is to get people who are, who are HIV infected into remission. And when we say remission, it means that um, their, their virus is, 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 is under control and is not replicating even when they're off treatment. Mm. And so there's a lot of work being done and having these children that, that show us it's possible does, does first of all, um, create a stimulus to, um, to, to, to invest in this kind of research and to try and find out the reasons why these rare children do, do these kind of things. I know that uh, your, your area of expertise has been uh, the mother-to-child transmission and uh, trying to stop that. I guess this is also another strand for you if you can control the parents. Um, if you can get the parent into remission, that gives you even more, a better chance uh, for the, the unborn child. Yes, that's, that would be one way of, of stopping HIV transmission is to get parents into remission. But if we can get people into remission, imagine how wonderful that would be. It would mean that people wouldn't have to take treatment and that we could uh, stop spreading HIV both sexually and through mother-to-child transmission and to start taking, um, uh, take, you know, fighting the epidemic you know, where, it hits, where, it, where it hurts most you know, in the replication. And so we need all the tools possible to try and eradicate and eliminate HIV from the world. And this child um, will, will give us a glimpse of hope and will help us try and understand uh, what, the, what kind of things we need to do to the immune system to, to stop the, the virus replicating. So uh, apart from the fact that, uh, you know, this child is carrying this um, virus and it's dormant, it's in remission, um, has this child then led a normal life, as in had colds, had flus, um, and has responded well to antibiotics, just like any other child who gets illnesses from time to time? Yeah, so this child is normal. This child is a very happy, normal, healthy child. I'm going to school, um, and it's just it's just a wonderful child, and um, and um, is normal like any other other child, um, and um, is you know, is progressing. Um, very, uh, the, the child is very nice because um, the child is happy to 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 um, you know be part of a study mm -hmm. to help us understand what's going on and um, a very supportive family who are helping um, us try and understand what is going on. All right. Thank you very, very much indeed uh, for uh, giving us some insights into some of these breakthroughs that are coming through. That was uh, Dr. Gray speaking to us from Paris at an AIDS conference. Uh, she uh, has won a number of awards over time, actually, for some of the work that she's been doing here at home. And that's where we'll leave the conversation.